Hello everybody, my name is Erica. I work at the Oakland Public Library. Um, today we've got something special for you, a Kamishi Bai story. Are you ready? Today's story is called The Old Man and the Fox. It's a, a traditional folktale from Japan. Mukashi Mukashi. Once upon a time, there was an old man who was very fond of playing tricks. One day, he passed by a lone pine tree that stood on top of a hill, and he saw a little fox, Kitsune, lying there peacefully taking a nap. Why, it's a fox. She looks so cozy and comfortable. Say, why don't I play a trick on her? The old man took a deep breath, <gasps> put his mouth right next to the fox's ear. Boo! Ah! The surprised fox shot straight up into the air and ran away yelping in fright. continued on his way, chuckling to himself. At the end of the day, when the old man had finished all his errands, he trudged up the very same hill again to get home. Oh, I'm making good time, he thought to himself. At this rate, I should be home before dark. But when the old man got back to the lone pine tree that stood on top of the hill, it suddenly became very dark. What happened? Has the sun set already? Jarabon, Jingarari, Jaranbon, Jingarari. Now, what could that be? thought the old man. He turned toward the strange sound in the distance, and he saw a dim light drawing closer and closer to him. Jaranbon, Jingarari, Jaranbon, Jingarari. Oh, no. It looks like a funeral procession. How eerie. The old man started to become frightened, and so he scurried up the pine tree to hide. He climbed into the tree. Suddenly, the procession came to a halt right below him. Horu doro, horu doro, horu doro. Dig, 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 crunch, 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 crunch. The people in the procession quickly dug a big hole, and they placed the barrel-shaped coffin inside. Then, without filling up the grave, they vanished mysteriously into thin air. The lid of the coffin slowly began to open. <laughs> And slowly out of the coffin appeared the ghost of a dead woman. <gasps> Old man, are you up in that tree? <gasps> She's talking to me. Old man, come to me. The ghost crept slowly up the tree. <laughs> Go away! Leave me alone! The old man began to climb frantically. Old man, wait for me! 
The old man climbed higher, and her arm got longer. He climbed even higher, and her arm got even longer. No, Biru, no, Biru. Stretch, stretch. <gasps> Stay away from me. I don't want to die. The old man scrambled up the tree with every last ounce of energy he had left. Help, help someone, help me. That's so higher and higher until he reached the very top of the tree and just then the ghost reached out and grabbed hold of the man's leg. Oh, oh, your hand is so cold. Let go, let go of me. But the icy hand kept a firm grip on the old man's leg. He tried again and again to pull his leg away, but the ghostly woman held fast. Let go. Go! Tebanasu! Tebanasu! Oh, oh, I'm slipping, the old man said. Oh, 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 but before he knew it, the old man lost his balance completely. Ah! And he fell straight into a clump of grass at the foot of the tree. Oh, 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 oh. Suddenly, the old man noticed that the sun was shining brightly again. As he rubbed his sore back, he looked around, and there, instead of the ghostly woman, stood the very same fox he had tricked earlier that morning. She turned to look at him as she ran away. <laughs> and then Kitsune scampered down the hill, still chuckling to herself, and disappeared out of sight. <laughs> and that is the end of the story. Oh, Shimai. The end. Thank you for listening. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.